guys, so in this Facebook video, I really want to talk to you about a subject that I think inevitably we are all going to hit. I have experienced this myself and also I know that a couple of you, you know, have experienced this or you're really afraid to experience this and I have talked about it a little bit in previous videos but I wanted to go a little bit more into depth about this subject and this is the fear of getting a bad review or actually getting a bad review and what you should really do about it if you do so i know this is something we all panic about pretty much any business you create any platform including the etsy platform you are open to people giving feedback and quite often giving public feedback in in terms of etsy that is that they can leave you a bad review if they feel like they've had a bad experience but also quite often sometimes just through a misunderstanding or through carelessness on a buyer's side they decide to leave you a bad review and sometimes there's nothing you can do about it even though you have tried to you know do the best that you can and i have had i remember someone in the group who experienced this and they just kind of reached out and just asked like what do i do in this occasion and also like you know i've tried everything and this person's not really responding and they just left me with a really rubbish review so the first thing that i want to say is that like really pretty much all online businesses it happens to everyone so I know that it can be really hurtful. I know you can feel so deflated when it happens, but it's one of those things that like it makes you stronger because once you've experienced going through a bad review and you've come out the other side and you continue to build your business and continue to grow, it just kind of takes the sting away a little bit more and you just feel a lot more like, okay, like that, that happened. I dealt with it as best as I could and now I'm just gonna keep moving forward and that happens inside every business so i just wanted to kind of reiterate that first thing but the second thing that i want to say also it's a challenge to your customer service and i will say that regardless of the outcome so even if you do end up with a bad review the only thing that you can really do in terms of customer service is do the best that you can and be proud of the customer service that you offered because sometimes you offer the best customer service there is you go above and beyond for a customer and they still just leave you with a bad review or don't change their review and that's that and i don't want that to ever discourage you from doing the best that you can in terms of customer service because it really is about and this is something that i have learned throughout all of my different online businesses and the hundreds and hundreds of sales that i have made that when it comes to customer service it's just about doing it for yourself making sure that you feel like you have given the best customer service that you can you've offered to help you have you know performed the best that you can for somebody and if they're not happy with it you have a clear conscience, you did the best that you could. So that is a, one of the most important things. Always, no matter whether you have a difficult customer or an easy customer, offer the best customer service that you can. So when we're talking, for example, about art printables, you may have obviously quite a lot of people um, either struggle to down, well, they're not quite a lot of people to be honest, but a couple of people throughout my personal experience have said that they've struggled to download it or they didn't realize that it was a certain type of a print. For example, they thought that it was a physical print, and um, even though it very clearly says a digital product on there, I've also had people who say that they don't like it. There's just so many, you know, you have a couple of people, and again, I have sold lots and lots of art printables, and it's only happened a, a couple of times a handful of times but in all of those situations i just try and offer the best customer service i can now when i first started out i think i was a lot more lenient on what i would refund somebody so if somebody kind of said oh i didn't realize that it was a digital product then i would feel like even though etsy has a section that literally says you don't need to refund digital products i would feel like i just you know i don't want to get a bad review so i would be feel, feel too pressured and i would offer a refund i know that happened to somebody in the group not long ago and they felt like they needed to just go above and beyond and offer the refund and offer to help and everything like that 
it's completely understandable when you were just starting out and you were trying to figure out what's acceptable to you, what you will and won't accept in terms of kind of a reason for somebody to refund, to, to give somebody a refund, then you do make some choices that afterwards you go like, oh, that, that really irks me that I've given that person a refund. But I will say that if you are, you know, really struggling with that customer and you feel like you've done absolutely everything that you can and there's still not happy and you just feel like do you know what I'm I'm done with this customer it's too much work and I'm being really frank here because you know lots of times you don't see this talked about in the online world you know it's all about just offer the best customer service and you you should automatically know how to deal with difficult customers but it's it's time consuming it's draining it's frustrating and sometimes you do hit a point where you're just like do you know what I'm just gonna just gonna refund you that because I want to move on from the issue. And that happens to lots of sellers. And again, you know, it's an option that you can take if you just want to hand somebody a refund. Now, again, you can offer a refund. You can be the nicest person in the world. You can do the best customer service. You can help, you can send everything all over again and you can still get a bad review. It's just the nature of the beast. And I will say that one thing, especially I find particularly a bit more leniently on the Etsy platform rather than on some other platforms that I've sell on and I've sold on is that buyers who are looking through customer reviews on Etsy in particular tend to be a lot more lenient with seeing one or two bad reviews in a shop especially because Etsy gives you the option that I think it's at three I think if someone gives you um three stars or below you have the option to reply to them publicly if you want to so you can reply underneath their um review and you can just kind of explain the situation and i will recommend that if somebody is saying something really negative when it comes to you know a review and it's just something that you feel like is completely unjust and just is not justifiable whatsoever then it may definitely be worth sitting down and writing a reply to that review but if you do decide to do that never put your heart into it and what I mean by this is never go in with that passion of well you were like this and blah 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 because it's just it doesn't look good on you at the end of the day and the best re re replies I've found to reviews especially like negative reviews where you can tell that the Etsy seller is has literally done everything they can and has been as professional and friendly as possible and it kind of makes the buyer look a little bit petty or just like they really didn't understand what was going on is when a seller writes a reply to a review that is just professional, clear, concise, explains how they tried to help or resolve the situation or that the issue was you know not something that they could personally help but that they were always willing to help and you know if that person still wants help that they're willing and happy to help them sort of resolve the issue is the ones where people literally scroll down they might see a one star two star three star review read the res what's happened read the response and think well that's actually great because i can see that that seller is willing to reach out, that seller is willing to help, that seller is willing to even reach out to a negative review and get back to that customer and offer them help. And I have personally come to find that not only on Etsy but on other platforms as well, sometimes getting a negative review can be a great opportunity to showcase your willingness to help to showcase your willingness to be a good seller to offer great customer service and to step up if there is any issue whatsoever and actually that can be a really good selling point to a buyer so i know that it might kind of at first feel like when you get a bad review that you know oh my gosh it's going to be detrimental to my business it's so scary you know i hate to think that i've upset somebody you can just feel rubbish when you get a bad review but there are positive outcomes that can come from a bad review or obviously the biggest thing and the best thing that you can do is kind of learn from it whether that is to learn something that was something that you did wrong that you can correct or whether to learn that you know sometimes you're going to get a customer that you just can't do 
anything to help because you've done everything you possibly can and that you are happy with that you gave the best customer service that you could and that you can move on and continue to build your business but I just think it's important to know that getting the odd bad review and I'm not saying if you consistently are getting bad reviews then you definitely need to look into what's going on there but if you've just found that for whatever reason you've come across a customer that you just couldn't help enough or you just they didn't even give you the option to help them then it's really not the end of the world or the end of your business and you can definitely continue to grow and build even stronger particularly on a platform like Etsy that gives you that option of replying to review but also has Etsy messenger so you can actually contact that customer see if you can actually help them if for example they've just given you a review and not even got in contact with you and see if you can kind of resolve the issue so there are outlets that you can actually interact with that customer both privately and publicly to kind of resolve the issue as much as possible but yeah I know how it feels to experience someone kind of not having the best experience with something that you've took the time and energy and love and care to create and all your fears and your anxieties and all your joy and everything goes into this business and for somebody to come back and say oh I don't like it and you're like great thank you like you're not even giving me the the option to correct it um and i know how that feels i know how frustrating that can feel but i just want you to know that it's truly not the end of your business or the end of the world and it can be something that you can learn from you can grow from and you can improve your business on overall and i just kind of wanted to share that because i know that the, the fear of getting negative reviews is something that we all have to deal with in the online world and it can be quite a stop point when we are trying to build our businesses and we're just thinking oh god I, I have to do this I have to do that because I don't want to get a negative review especially sometimes when it pushes you too far to doing things for people I have even in the past um, not on the Etsy platform thankfully but in um, another platform I've had people try and threaten me with negative reviews which is always nice and um, so that they can get something for free and um, particularly with things like dropship products and um, will try and threaten me with negative reviews I even had somebody who bless them I'll, I'll say and um, messaged me on a platform that I sold my dropship products on and they'd received their dropship product and um, which was a, an art print and they told me that it was it arrived effective well that very rarely happens but I'm happy to you know take a look so I always ask which is what um, Printful the platform asks you to do in order to get a refund from them and um, just to take a photo of the damage um, and just send that to me and they took a photo and they sent it to me and they had quite clearly used um I don't know what you'd call it like something on your phone like word or something like paint or something to kind of create a line across the image that was supposed to look like it was a line that was drawn on the art print but they had messed up because if you just zoomed in a little bit closer you would see that the line actually started off of the print and started on the carpet where they'd laid the art print down and they kind of obviously just like swiped a line across it and we're trying to make out like that was actually on the print when it very clearly was not on the print and in that terms and in that occasion I did stand up for myself and it was very obvious and I just literally said like obviously luckily the platform that I was on I could reach out to the actual platform itself and I did say that unfortunately that is very clearly doctored and I will be sending it to the platform um, for them to sort out and I did that and I never heard from them again um, and they didn't leave any bad reviews or anything like that so you will always get the odd bad apple who you know is out to either not really care that they're doing something to somebody's business and um, even though you've tried to help them and you've tried to be the kindest that you can and then you will get some people who are deliberately trying to steal things and take things and that's just the the darker side of the online world but for the majority of time and for the most time for the most experience that I've had through the thousands of products that I have sold so far 
I have had such a lovely experience with so many wonderful people who really love the products, appreciate the things that I've created and you know are enjoying them and they're either giving them entertainment or help or you know decoration for their home and that's a really really wonderful thing and you should never let those few people who do either not care or who are out to do not the nicest things in the online world affect your willingness and your energy to look out and look after those people who really are, have got the best intentions of buying your products and enjoying the things that you create. So yeah, I hope this video helps a little bit with that. Sorry if it's a bit lengthy, I shall try and cut this down in the edit. Um, but yeah, I shall see you in the next video guys. And definitely let me know if you've had any experiences with kind of maybe getting negative reviews or a bit of difficult customers and how you decided to deal with it because I think that can help people, other people who maybe are worried about that experience, see that it's not the end of the world when it comes to their business and um, if they have to just deal with a bit of difficult customers or the odd negative review. So I'll see you in the next video guys. Bye.